everyone, this is Grupa from Color My Soul and today we are going back to basics. I would like to show you some tools that you can probably find around your house that can be used for dotting because the truth of the matter is that anything that you dip into paint and it makes a dot is actually a tool. So doing this exercise actually really took me back to the days when I just discovered dot art and I was so eager to start this art form even though I don't have any tools. So I basically looked around the house for anything that I could find that would make a dot. And one of the tools that I ended up using primarily for my dotting which works really well are drill bits. So I had a whole range of sizes that went from really small to even bigger than this one and they work really well for um, making dots so just to demonstrate to you this is how drill bits work perfectly shaped dots and then if I just go to the bigger size the only thing about the bigger sizes is that the tool starts getting really heavy. But they make perfectly shaped dots and they work really well. Okay, the next item that I found was a pencil. The back end that's flat. So if we just dip and place our dots. The back end of a pencil works really well then we have a glue stick that's meant to go into a glue gun so this also works really well as you can you will see and because the stick is really lightweight it can actually be managed and handled really well even at its full length so that is a glue stick that can be used as a tool. For this next item, I was just pretty resourceful. Um, I, I saw the flat edge and I thought, dotting tool. So this is a cokey pen that can be used to make some really nice dots. The biggest dot size that we generally make is about 15 millimeters in diameter, our tool size. So, if you can get, I mean, this is pretty much the biggest dot that we will make. If you can get uh, a tool like this. What I have also found works really nicely. These are from my face painting days, actually. Um, it's the flat end of these sticks that have sponges on them. So, if we dip, place our dot. All right. Because what you really want ideally is tools that make dots that increase in size gradually. So this is the bigger dots. And I'm just wiping off my tools with a paper towel to keep them clean. Something else that works really well is these plastic crochet hooks so they look like this in this set there's five different sizes and we use the flat ends not the the hook ends so these as well we just dip and place a dot I'm not going to go through all of the sizes, so I'll just do the smallest one that I have here up to the biggest one. Okay, so that is crochet hooks. Something else that can be used um, <laughs> is uh, lip eyes or lip balm so I have soft lips which can make a smaller dot I use the lid end um, and then there's labello as well so just to show you and this I came across 
um, while I was in New Zealand, we went shopping for paints. And because the paint consistency is really important in dotting, we went shopping for paint and I realized that I didn't have any tools on me to do a test dot. And that's when I felt in my pocket and I realized I've got my lip balm and it makes, oops, the lid makes a perfectly shaped dot. So that both of these can be used as tools as well. Then we have wooden towel sticks. So I didn't have this at the time at home, but I know a lot of people do have towel sticks at home. So wooden towel sticks are what we currently use in our beginner workshop as well. So these as well range in different sizes from small to medium. And then the biggest one again is approximately 15 millimeters in diameter. Okay, so that is dowel sticks. What we also have are bamboo skewers. And these can actually used, uh, can be used on both ends. So if we use the flat end first, we can use them to make smaller dots. The same with the next one. It's just a little bit thicker. So it makes bigger dots. And if you use the if you use the pointy end and you just lift enough paint, you can use it to make dots that are really fine and that go from big to small. So you can either use it to make teeny tiny dots by dipping each time and the dots will be the same size. Or if you just dip once and you continue making dots, The dots to become smaller. Another tool we have is an earbud. So a trick I learned about an earbud is that obviously the cotton ends are very soft. So in dotting you want to keep your tools as clean as possible and if you try and wipe off the cotton ends uh, when you're cleaning this it's all gonna come off. So there's two things you can do. If you have a look here I don't think you can see this in the camera but I've taken white paint and I just applied it all around the cotton section and I left it to dry so it hardens and that makes it easier to just clean off the tool gently. On this side, okay, I've used this already, but what I had um, applied here is a sealant called Hard as Nails. So again, I just uh, applied it all around the cotton bud and I let it dry. So it's pretty firm and if I now tip and dot. I have a dot that a, a tool that makes perfectly shaped dots. And if I just continue making dots, they get smaller. And with this we just gently dab off to clean. Okay, this is getting really resourceful again. A hair clip. So if we tip the hair clip into the paint and just Dip ones and continue making dots. We get the effect where the dots go from big to small. Another tool that I did use often in the beginning as well are paint brushes, back end of paint brushes. So if I dip this into paint, again, if I can either dip after every dot to get dots of the same size or I dip just once and continue until the paint runs out, we get that effect. So that is paint brushes. And last is a pen that I found, which happens to have a round ball on the end. And anything that has a round ball on the end can be used for the technique where the dots go from big to small. So there you have it. That's just some household items that can be used um, 
for dotting. I think if you really look around, you'll be amazed at all the different items that can make dots and can therefore be used for dotting. So I hope this video has been useful. I will be doing another one that um, where we will do a step-by-step -step design using all these household tools. So please do keep an eye out for my next video and do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.